Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent and today we will be featuring Pachyphytum Beetle Baker and this kind of succulent is also known as our flat moonstone. This kind of low growing succulent has these thick and upright stems. Usually it has these 3 inch long and flattened na leaves. Pag titignan natin siya ng mabuti, yung kanyang leaves are actually arcing Pataa. So even if now we will be giving it yung ating full sun, talagang ganito lang yung kanyang leaves talagang pataas lang siya and it will never open unlike for other succulents. Ayan, from the top, it would look like this yung kanyang pinaka rosette. It will be giving us this reddish orange or white flowers that is about 1 cm in size pag nag bloom ito and usually it would appear at the center nung kanyang pinaka rosette. So we have here yung kanyang stem. This is just about to bloom anytime. And yung kanyang leaves also are covered with this farina coating and even if we will be touching it slightly, talagang we could leave a mark sa kanya. And our bill baker is resistant to heat during the summer season or the dry season. And as much as possible, yung kanyang leaves should not have droplets of moisture. But sometimes here in the highland areas or in the mountains, we have a difficulty in achieving this kasi nga every night pag talagang malamig dito sa Baguio, we are expected na if we will be waking up, punong puno nga siya ng morning dew. And that is something that we need to watch out for or else magkakaroon nga tayo or we might experience some fungal problems sa kanya. We have to put them in bright sun or direct sunlight nga. And we can also give them some shade and that is required only if we have this very bright na sunlight. Especially ngayon na tag init talaga and it's very scorching or nakakasunog yung ating sun. We could also be expecting na with direct sunlight or full sun exposure, we will be having this compact na reset and it will even form a better quality ng kanyang pinaka leaves. In addition, itong ating mga bill baker also need some airing or kailangan natin silang pahanginan. Probably you can put them in a location with good ventilation para in and out nga yung kanyang hangin. The soil that you're gonna be using for them should be well draining and syempre it's also important na yung soil should also have some nutrients sa kanya kasi that will be absorbed by the roots going to the plant. This one is just a typical na loam soil but I make sure na I will be getting yung walang clay soil kasi some of the loam soil na available sa ating mga markets they have clay soil na added sa kanilang pinaka mix and that won't be beneficial para sa ating mga succulent. So you always need to check first before buying. So whatever soil mix that we're gonna be using, make sure that it is well draining para hindi tayo magkaroon ng problem sa root rot and overwatering. Pinaulanan ko sila kagabi and that's usually how I water yung ating mga succulent especially na nandun siya sa ating rain or shine area. And that would now give it a uh, full soak. Hindi ko tinitipid yung tubig every time I water itong ating mga bill baker and other of my succulents. So, kumbaga, if nag-dry na completely yung kanilang pinaka-soil, then I won't be missing them, but rather I will be soaking them. So, yun yung tinatawag natin soak and dry na method way of watering. And to those who keeps on commenting kung ano nga ba yung nilalagay ko or ginagawa ko to make yung aking mga succulents lush, whether they are common succulents or uncommon succulents, local or imported, I do fertilize them with a controlled release fertilizer, yung ating Osmocote, every 3 to 4 months. But every month, I make sure na dinidiligan ko nga sila nung ating diluted na liquid fertilizer from Japan. Yeah. And right now, we will also be repotting yung isa sa kanila. Ito, I will be reserving this for our future succulent arrangements. So this is already the soil mix. So I will just literally transfer again yung ating bill baker into its new pot without removing yung kanyang soil or uprooting it and air drying it. Ipipwesto lang natin siya sa pinakagitna. Then we will just be adding 
yung ating pinipir na soil mix dito sa gilid. This method is not ideal for repotting yung ating mga succulents kasi we also need to change yung kanilang pinaka soil but this is advisable para sa ating mga beginners who are afraid na baka pag in nila or tinanggal nila yung soil ng kanilang succulents is baka mamatay yung kanilang succulents especially na it takes time for a succulent to stabilize pag tinanggalan nga natin siya nung kanyang old soil. I have done this many times and so far, okay naman lahat ng ating mga succulents na niripat lang natin without changing yung kanilang mga soil. We don't need to put this one in a bright shaded area or wait for one week or two weeks before watering it kasi nga, we just literally transferred it to its new pot and therefore, we can consider it as a stable or well-established na succulent. Propagating them is also very simple. If ayaw nyo siyang tanggalan ng kanyang leaves or i-cut or i-behead siya, you can just simply wait for it na magkaroon ng offset. So you can see that one, may maliit tayong offset doon. You can also remove itong kanyang leaf and propagate it. Ayan. Ganun lang ka bilis. And we would be expecting na magkakaroon tayo ng offsets or new offsets kung saan tayo nagtanggal ng kanyang dahon. Eh, makikita nyo naman, brownish na yung isang leaf na matagal nang na-propagate. Yung ating mga bill baker are not commonly affected by pests but sometimes we do encounter some mealybugs from time to time so you have to check that out especially dito nga sa kanilang flower stalks. Ayan. Lagi ko silang chinecheck kasi favorite talaga nila yan na tambayan and nothing to worry about if you see this kind of leaves you can just simply leave it here and a couple of weeks magda dry and it will fall off and that's all for our bill baker thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel you may also visit our facebook page a desert succulent ph